Nation Nation, hello, Lee Kemp here for another week on the podcast, here with Jose Neuer, sadly Ryan is not here with us this week, sending out much love to him, just got some personal stuff to deal with. How are you this week, Mr Neuer? Yeah, just give a shout out to Ryan, sending much love to him, it's a difficult time. Um, yeah, I'm good, I'm really good actually, um, really, yeah, really good, so, and, uh, and how are you Lee, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go right back at you. Trying to put my That's Merry Christmas, by the way. You just I know, I've got it wrong. Technical difficulties. <laughs> I need to put the background on in case the kids need to walk by to get snacks, you see. This oh, it's fair enough. Yeah, yeah. How um, are you anyway? I'm very good, Joe. Very good. Thank you very much for asking. It's a bit chilly, but other than that, everything's gravy. It is. You're absolutely right. It's right. Thank you, everyone out there, for listening, supporting us, downloading podcast platforms, watching on YouTube, wherever you are. Again, I would say there's been some bumper downloads in the archive not just recent shows but old shows as well in fact last week or the week before no it was last week joe we referenced the um series of eight shows that we did um on life lessons and a good few of them got downloaded after the show so thank you out there for people going back helping support the podcast leave us a review hit five star follow us on twitter at listen to in listen to in all of that stuff helps us grow that is my gratitude for the nation Fabulous. We're getting people joining like crazy on TikTok. November, November. Thank you, Rashi. Thank you for the like. Who just liked that? Someone liked us. Uh, Rashi, thank you for liking. Really appreciate that. Um, so really appreciate it. So don't forget to share the live with other people, get people on here. You know, as I said, I've been having a bit of difficulty with TikTok lately. been banning our videos. Really annoying. And thank you for following. Look, another follow. There for we go. Followers. Thank Rashi's you. Rashi's followed. Thank you so much, Rashi. Appreciate you. Um, as I say, you know, we're getting we're getting annoyed. It's, it's annoying. It's really annoying. So can you please let TikTok know not to ban our blooming videos? That's what I'm saying. They keep banning our videos. Stop it, TikTok. Behave yourself and let those videos go out because they're helping people. Right. Okay, okay I'm ready. Stern Joe is coming out to play. Um, yeah. Lovely. Yeah, if you want to join in, Jay Neuer underscore Inspiration Nation, follow us over on TikTok um, and you can watch the podcast live. Interact if you are now. Feel free to throw out questions for us to get involved in the show um, and loads more content through the week from Joe if it doesn't get banned, of course. Right, <laughs> on so... TikTok only. It's TikTok <laughs> only. Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, not a problem. We Just need to raise him. Joe's, got... Joe's getting angry. Let's bring him back. Bring him back to the positive right. vibes. I am positive. Just I'm just annoyed. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. I love it. Okay, right. right so go on, week, Joe, we are you? going for part three now. Yep. If I'm correct, Joe, on you reading out the inspirational messages for us. This has been a really good show. So if you've not heard, go back, listen to our last two episodes, 99 and the Milestone 200. Here the first two parts of joe reading and what are we reading from joe so what are we reading from lee because last time you sort of said the thing the thing and the thing do you remember what <laughs> it is reading this time? from the thing and the what's it <laughs> and it had the thing with it and there was a bear does... involved i think something still like that remember. Still don't remember, do i'm only joking i'm only joking so you are reading to us joe from the boy the mole the fox and the horse oh, which well is impressed. a fantastic book i'd not heard of it before this um it was a big film over Christmas as well, which I confess I also didn't see. You've introduced this to me, which I'm really, really pleased about. But it's been um, fantastic, I have to say, Joe, in your first two readings of this. You impressed I remembered? Yeah. Yeah, it's, fact, it's been... Charlie Mackesy, who is the author, sent us out a like on Twitter as well. So we appreciate that from him as well. Some great, um, yeah, great inspirational messages, I think, in a story that is suitable for all ages, if I was to write a review. Well, yeah, absolutely. You know, it's in the style of sort of children's book, as you can sort of see there. But it's got massively deep message for everybody. It's such a great book. I actually recommend it to I met up with Mark Drager um, at the weekend. Not the weekend, sorry, during the week. And we had like a, a Zoom call. And I told him, he's ordered the book himself. So I've actually oh, got Oh, excellent. Another... Good work. So I have to say as well, Joe, I watched my, uh, my favourite bedtime viewing at the moment is a cartoon called Bob's Burgers. I don't know if you've ever heard of it before. I have heard uh, of that. The title of one of the shows I was watching was The Burt, The Burt, The Burt and The Burt. I can't remember what the things were. They weren't the same as the oh, title of the book. Yeah. But I'd have completely missed that reference. I was like, ah, I know what that is. Yeah, it's so <laughs> weird how life does these things, isn't it? It's amazing. Right. Fantastic. I love that. Yeah, I, I have heard of that. Right. Okay. Let me get on with it. Otherwise, we'll run out of time. Indeed. And Ali will say, come on, Jose. Right, so we've got to the bit in the book about this storm will pass. So as Lee said, uh, please go back to the other two episodes to catch up. But essentially, 
uh, we got to the part in the story that where the where the boy, the mole, the fox, and the horse got stuck in a storm, and they said, "This too shall pass." This too shall pass. That's what we got, and then we sort of talked about it. And of course, they had the rainbow. And of course, we talked about actually how do we weather the storm? What life throws a load of ton of crap at us, and how we deal with it, really. So I'm going to continue. Oh no, where are the where are the lights? I can't see them anymore. It feels like we have such a long way to go. I know, said the horse, but look how far we've come. I just don't think I can do this, said the boy. I'm never going to find a home. So basically, just looking for home there. I'm just going to show you that. I'm going to butt in straight away, Joe. Well, Cut it from time. But obviously, something we reference quite often is the looking back down the mountains thing. And I think that's it there, where you're like, look how far we've got to go, and the reference of, yeah, but look how far we've come. And it's so easy to see, just constantly see what's in front of you and not give yourself credit for what you've done, which is a thing we talk about quite often. So I just, I like that. It's a bit of a, you know, that happened quickly in the story there, but I like that in the message. Yeah, I totally agree with you. You know, we, we don't, you know, I mean, I was actually, I've got a training group today. And I, I did the, you know, we did the unconscious competence model back in, I can't remember, really early days, didn't like, we? This is, a t- this is like episode 14, 15, very early on. Yeah. And I still reference that um, in my training because it's about people don't, like you learn and then people tend to forget how hard it was when they were learning it. And I always get to people try and remember, remember when you learned to drive or remember when, you know, it was something was difficult was happening and you actually did eventually get it. And then, you know, give yourself credit. And actually at this point in the training where we're like almost, almost, um, two thirds through they're now finding a bit easier but they, they found it difficult at first so i'm just saying remember where you come from remember when day one and now remember where you are now and and the difference and the and the knowledge they have is huge so again it's it's all about those things so i love that that's no, great okay are you all right asked the boy there is something i haven't told you said the horse what i can fly you can fly yes but i stopped because it made the other horses jealous well we love you whether you can fly or not and then you can see that the horse there oh it's got wings it's got wings yeah so i'm going to stop there because i think it's an important point um and the important point um is for me is that the horse was clearly hiding their talents because of the fear of judgment of others or the jealousy or because he, he, had, he was just a bit different although he was just a bit different and this is where i think you know, where we, for me, we have to live our truth, no matter what that is. You know, if we've got talent, we shouldn't be hiding it. We should be embracing it. And I think there was a lot, a lot of that goes on. People tend to dial stuff down if they're not that confident because they're actually are good at something, but they don't want to be all different from everybody else. But you know what? I think it's good to be different. I think it's, um, it's your uniqueness that you bring to the planet. So I used to, when I, when I was younger, I didn't want to used to like, I didn't want to stand out. You know, I didn't want to sort of display anything. So I think now I think, you know, I look back and I think that was due to my own confidence. So just embrace your strengths and just be who you are. You know, as long as you're doing good in the world and they're, they're, it's a, you're a force for good, you know, be the person, display your talents, be the person you're meant to be and don't be fearful. Don't, and as Lee said okay. before, no judgment, like don't listen to the judgment of others. So that's what I'd say to you, all right? Just uh, just do not listen to the judgment of others. You've got to go your own path and do it that way. But anyway, Lee, I'm just going to um, just throw that over to you. Okay, and I agree on that thing. You see that. Um, and I think it's not just talents, but like ideas and things as well. It's so mm. easy to hold on to them for fear of being judged on them, and you shouldn't be afraid of putting them out there. And it's, well, you know my thing last year on the no judgment thing, and actually – what you've got to do first is not worry about that judgment and hopefully that that passes on to other people you and i say it. this as someone who is talented at everything i feel the pain sometimes of, of that judgment as well yeah the, the weight of it all right it's, the weight it's, of it all. it's a burden to carry <laughs> but no i think i i, I like that because it's a metaphor for ideas as well i think you really that's a really good point you made there because i think you know we have an idea don't we and we're yeah, a bit frightened yeah. to share it in fact i had an idea Especially and i shared it with you and i was actually a bit different. nervous of sharing it with you um, but I think it's got to get out in the world and then whatever happens, whatever happens, but it's all about that. And I think, uh, you know, sometimes it's not going to work. Right. But, you know, I know I can trust people, but sometimes you've got to run with it, haven't you? hundred percent. And like you said, especially as it's a growing up thing, you realize that you know, the younger you are, the more it's kind of fitting into an extent. And then the older you get, you realize the differences are the thing that set you apart and make you interesting. Yeah. And it was all about fitting in for me. I definitely didn't want to stick out. I was definitely one of those children that just wanted to blend into the background. Um, so, yeah. 
definitely 100%. So have that. So anyway, as we continue, the horse starts to to fly. So they all fly in, starts using talents, going through. Love the app. The artwork on this is just brilliant. I love it. Absolutely love it. Um, again, I'm going to show you the pictures from the book because the artwork is absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Look, there it is, said the horse. You found it, said the boy. So they, so they just found something. It looks like a home, doesn't it? Said the boy. Well, said the mole, here we are then. So they've just found what looks like their home. Thank you, said the boy. So the boy's just saying thank you to the horse for flying them to finding their home. Goodbye. Always remember you're enough, just as you are, said the fox. Okay, just do that. And I think that's an important point. I'm going to just stop there because I think, again, it almost referenced that point to the horse and the wings and i love that that reference to say you're just enough as you are and sometimes i think we put a lot of pressure on ourselves to do other things that you know that that maybe aren't us yes um and that we try and do things that maybe we want you know we're doing it because of the pressure of outside or anything like that so i think that's really important i don't know what's happened there but, <laughs> but i've out on my tiktok but anyway a happy to, I don't know. But anyway, so that, that's, <laughs> I think that's a really important lesson. Um, what do you think? So that thing about always remember you're enough just as you are, said the fox. Anything I think that? there's a, and I don't know what it's called, I'm terrible at remembering stuff like this. It's taken me three weeks to remember the title of a book, so that's how bad I am. But there's a song I really, really like, and it's like an acoustic style song, and one of the lyrics in the chorus is, it's like you've been trying really hard and you're enough or it's enough and it's a really good kind of that empowering type of song where it's just that really strong message and I do I do think that that I really like that as a message you know telling someone that what they do is enough or how they try enough or what they're doing you're back you've got your hat on TikTok again Joe. I don't, know, I don't what... know what's going on I don't know what's <laughs> happening I really don't sorry so sorry and I, I didn't articulate that very well but that's I think I think it's a strong message and it's a sort of that I don't do enough of that myself. I don't think I'm always, I had to do this today. So today I got a bit, I was wavering near the end of the day and I did, I was doing some stuff and I probably could have done better with it. But like yesterday and the day before I had blistering days and I saw something and it's, it's like what, you know, it's a graph and it goes up and down, up and down, up and down, but at each peak it says your best, your best, your best. And underneath it says um, that it's, you know, your best isn't the same every day. And, you know, for some days that's excelling and building an empire. And for other, it's just dragging yourself out of bed because you feel terrible. And I remind myself of that sometimes, you know, there's all sorts of reasons why one day you're up here, one day you're here. But as long as you're trying your best, that can that can peak and trough. And I think that's the same as that. It's enough or you're enough message. And I think more people need to believe in that in themselves. Yeah, I agree with you there. And uh, say like the everyday thing, and it's actually a very stoic, thing you're saying there it's very stoic because and i know i sent a stoic thing in the chat as well Darren brown and stephen bartlett i think yeah and, and i haven't watched that what's this <laughs> sorry thank you jc if you said any bucket hats and that's how i was wrapping someone sending me gifts and they're actually appearing on my head it's brilliant <laughs> thank you jc Rufa, for the gifts appreciate it a gift the badge or something so yeah brilliant that's what's happening anyway so yeah so that's what it is and i've not watched that so, brown yeah. yet but i think stoicism is yeah. going to be a big thing for us this year and it is I just you fall into that comparison culture it's like oh well all these people are doing better than me or why do these people do and and all of that without there's no matter what you do you're always and everyone does it at every level everyone compares themselves to someone else for something else and I just think the more people can look inwards rather than outwards the the happier you be which comes back to kind of like the stoicism thing you're saying it's something I'm trying to work on as well but it's a it's a really strong message I think um, you're really good at that I think you are really good at that uh the going inside because i think you, you know you're, you're naturally a bit introverted and i think you i've had to learn that a lot i have really. i think i've had to challenge last few years i've had to really push myself and challenge myself on it and i try and pass it on to people but it's always with that message that i didn't always do that and i know how i feel better now and i slip i don't do it all the time but you just need to keep practicing and practicing yeah just doing that lovely uh, jc we've just sent about a billion squirrels or something i don't know what they are it's a squirrel. It's a squirrel. Thirty-three squirrels. I love <laughs> that. You, I love Jesse. more so. I love the hats. It's a brilliant. Yeah, YouTube it's brilliant. Oh, yeah, I'll, yeah. On TikTok, if you want to see what this is all about, unfortunately, they're not showing up on the YouTube again. Jay Neuer underscore Inspiration <laughs> Nation. Chuck him a follow on his journey to ten thousand. 
yeah, don't forget to follow guys on TikTok, all right? Follow everywhere. TikTok, YouTube, all that type of stuff. Um, brilliant. Okay. Um, what was I was going to say about stoicism? There was some, yeah, that, that reference, I want to go back to that reference about the best bees. Again, do the best of what you have. And that's a very another stoic uh, thing that you can, you can apply. So, yeah, I love that. So we've just got back to good boy. Goodbye. Always remember you're enough, said the fox. So it's just going back to that. Such a good, such a good book. I'm glad we're all here, said the mole. And if you remember back in the book, he struggled to say that he loved them. So that is the way he says that he loves them. So just to let you know, so I'm glad we're all here, said the mole. I'm so glad you're here too. Goodbye, said the boy. I'm really going to miss you. So the boy starts walking to the home. It's very sad. Home isn't always a place, is it? So home isn't always a place, is it? And again, they just sort of stop and meet up again. Well, this is warm, said the horse, and very kind, replied the fox. And look at the stars, said the horse. So you know all about me, asked. So you know all about me, asked the boy. Yes, replied the horse, and you still love me. We love you all the more. And they're just all sitting together. That's why we're here, isn't it? said the boy. For cake? asked the mole. To love and to be loved. That 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 image there of them all together with a shooting star. Oh, I think that I think that animation. All puzzled up. Just amazing. Just just to love it. And that was the end. That's it. So in the end of the book, it talks about love. And I think that's a really important point. So from my from my perspective, I think, especially from like a, a male perspective, you know, I know when with my dad and stuff, he's all, he always struggled to like express feelings and say, hey, hey, I love you. We're much better now. But I think, you know, growing up through the years that I grew up, this is not something that we would say. You know, hey, I love you and stuff. Actually, even even today, I'm not going to say, but but. But I've experienced something today which I wasn't expecting from someone that I know quite well now, or very well, I say. And I really do. And, and for me, that's massive growth to be able to be really open and vulnerable and say things like that in a place where, you know, where it's quite male orientated, I think it's really powerful. And uh, because for me, we're not going to be here forever. And as you know, my mum passed away and um, I did tell her a lot that I loved her. And I think that's important. Had I not done that, I think that would have had a bit effect, big effect on me. So I really am making more effort. Even now, that less, even now, I think I need to do it more. So this lesson of expressing love and telling people you love them is so important. And, it, and, and you know, if you do really, you know, if you do, you know, admire someone, you know, tell them that you admire them whatever it is but you know be 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 truthful for what you are and be and be that person and you know if you've got really close family members remember to tell them that you love them you know if you love them just tell them <laughs> um you know because i know i can appreciate you know that you're not going to love everybody it just doesn't happen right however there are going to be important significant people in your life and it's important that we tell them that they're significant and if we love them, tell them that you love them. And I think that's what that last bit of the book is. That's what we're all down here for. So I love that. Anyway, over to you, Lee. Anything from that? No, I think that's the, that's the last message on it. I'm going to fumble here for those watching because I just need to hurriedly find my um, charger for my laptop or this is all going to go horribly wrong. Oh, no, we're not going to. So Strike. TikTok just to... Uh... I'm there, I'm there. It's good. It's good. We're oh, safe. Oh, thank goodness. We saved oh, the day. The modern age in which we live, eh? Oh yeah, yeah. The, the ultimate bit, and like you know, the whole what's the meaning of life and stuff like that. And I'm not not going to go too deep here, but I think that your individual interactions with people and how they feel from their interactions with you, that, that I think for me, everything boils down to that. That is the single most important thing. Is is are those interactions and how you feel from them and how other people feel from them and probably ultimately how you feel for them but for me it's a big you know I like it's a big mission of mine to try and you know leave people feeling good or that I've helped them or supported them or whatever it is from as many interactions as I can and I think that whole you're here to be loved kind of sums that up brilliantly I do think that that's 
the point at the end of the day because there isn't really anything else without that. I'm yeah. like you as well. I will say, in fact, in, within my immediate family, we we see each other a lot. And I think I've referenced this before, especially uh, you know, it's people coming to me how close we are, which I didn't really realise, but we do see each other quite a lot. We message and we talk. We never really say I love you and we don't really hug. That's not our thing, but we do see each other a lot. And I was going to say I don't really do it a lot, but obviously there's a few people I do. I do it with my other half, do it with um, my kids, do it with the cats, of course. They come top of my list on everything. <laughs> but then there's a mutual friend of ours I'm seeing tomorrow night for some drinks, Joe, and no doubt once I've had enough drinks, I'll tell him I love him as well. So it, it's out there and it's something more comfortable, but it wasn't necessarily what we did growing up, but we kind of show that in a lot of, other ways as well well that's what but the mole said isn't it? that's it that's what's important i think yeah well don't you remember what the mole said he struggled to say he yes. said he loved people he said i'm glad we're that's all why here. i say this instead yeah yeah and and so you know some really big lessons like you might struggle to say that word but you can do it in a way like lee says that actually still expresses the same emotion and, and the same thing it's just really again it's very individual right it's very individual and so you know big lessons from this book and that's why I loved it. So I'm just going to repeat the book and the author because I think it is so powerful. Absolutely. So it's um, The Boy, The Mole, The Fox and The Horse by Charlie Mackesy. All right, guys, I would recommend get this book. You know, if you've got children, absolutely brilliant. Even if you haven't got children, read the book. There are big lessons in here. And it's a, it's a beautiful... I'm getting chills just thinking about the story. I'm just getting an emotional response because I think it's so powerful. Um, and I say that the, the the little video clip I did of when the boy says, um, you know, when the mole asked the boy, you know, asked the boy, what do you want to be when you grow up? And the boy just says, kind. And then the mole says this thing is kindness sits behind all things. And I just think, oh, that's just such a really powerful message. And um, the whole book is just so powerful. And the fact, like I say, I've recommended it to people and I'm glad we can do this on, and, and promote it on here in this podcast because I think it's just, you know, powerful. Thank you, Charlie Absolutely. Mackesy, for bringing this into the world. 100%. And just one more little thought on that when you said it, Joe, as well, about what you want to be kind. And it's lovely that it's not a thing, it's a behaviour. That's, mm. you know, what do you want to be as a person? And actually, again, as you know, as you grow, the more you can do what you like, the more you can be the person you want to be and the more you can do the things you like to do. If you can, you know, it's not as possible, but if you can find a way to attach that to a job or to bring that into your job, or you know you move in that direction again the, the more you are as a person and again it, be, it comes down to what you get to do and who you are as a person rather than you know job title or, or all those other other sort of things and i just think the fact that it was a behavior rather than something else was was a really nice viewpoint as well so going back to what you were saying lee on that point actually how do we bring it in what I'm doing at the moment, every morning, I've re, I've re kicked up my journal and doing it every day at the moment. In the journal, I'm writing the first thing is, be kind. So it's it's kindness, in the moment, and non judgment. Those are the big three things every day. I write in that journal because I want to be, I want that to be a focus for my day every day, those, all the time. Those sort of affirmations are great. Doing. I was listening to a podcast the other day with someone who was a, a serious um, addict, drug alcohol all the things that came with it and they went into a, a really heavy rehab program and the, one of the things they do is the person who, the, who was doing this with them like they went and lived with them at their place and you know they were in this full time and the person the, the the coach or the person who's saying through it made him st- he had, every day he had to stand in front of the mirror and just say i like you and he said he found it mm. so difficult but but he said until he can get over that hump and he, he now helps people in the same situation mm. he said until you can get over that hump until you can actually truly like yourself you're never going to help yourself and that's where that path of instruction comes in and that's all of that his whole recovery came from those positive affirmations then so that you did not be kind every day at work it, it goes into your psyche i think it's a really good approach well do you mind with that we did an episode of that we asked you to stand in front of the mirror do you remember Indeed, so, I do. I love you. Like, it's hard, right? Because it's uncomfortable. But you stand, you, you sell, you do that exercise. Saying, I love you to the person to your reflection. It's not. I mean, it's That's, not so bad for me because I'm very lovable. But I can see. I can. There you go. I joke. I joke. And just the I love bit, you'll you'll love this, Joe. I've got something on journaling that I've been doing that I want to update you on. But it's not. I'm going to get do it. It's going to be the end of the month thing. So it's a couple of weeks away. But I've got something you'll be very proud of on the journaling front. I'm looking forward to this already. There you go. I thought I was, I was doing something with it this morning. And I thought I can't wait to tell Joe about this. 
Oh, can't wait. So it's it's all there. It's all, you know, this is again, this is this podcast is documenting our growth journeys and a lot of the stuff in that book is things we've talked about through this, things we employ in our lives. None of this is new, it's all out there. But the more you hear it, the more people are living and breathing it, the the more it can help people. And that's what we're trying to do. We're just trying to spread and expand that message. Yeah, putting good out into the world. And if you want to support exactly us doing awesome. that, head over to inspirationnation.org.uk, Inspiration Nation store there, merchandise, T-shirt, hoodies, mugs, et cetera, et cetera, all good stuff there. Follow us on Twitter at listen to I-N, listen T-O-I-N. And, of course, search for Joe, J Noyer underscore Inspiration Nation on TikTok is the place. But if you just put Jose Noyer Inspiration Nation into your Google machine, you will find Joe everywhere. The more followers we can get, the better. YouTube, follow, like, subscribe, whatever platform you are on. We are on every podcast platform. Like, subscribe, leave us a review. So reviews especially get us up in the algorithm. That's what really helps us. So if you like what we're doing, you want to help spread the message, just take two seconds. Right now, if you're listening on your phone, just open up that player, hit that five-star button, leave us some kind words if we deserved it. We massively, massively appreciate it. Just quickly... I want to share a shout out to Layla Grace Morgan. Got number two, just got the number two gifter badge. So people are gifting. So thank you for that. We really appreciate it. And give, and give them a shout out to the people who are absolutely doing some crack, cracking stuff here on the, on the actual live here. So thank you absolutely. so much. Absolutely. Tracy Ruth has definitely been so active. <laughs> Great number of likes. It's been really good. Again, follow Joe on TikTok if you want to get involved. Right. The time is counting down, Joe. I think it needs to yep. count us down and we'll be back again next week. Go Three. On. Two one inspiration nation. Inspiration nation. Catch you guys Catch later. You guys later. <laughs> Let me know what your biggest takeaway is from this conversation. I'd love to know. Put it in the comments below, and I'll respond to every single comment because that's the commitment I make to you in this community. Also, don't forget to subscribe right over here because we need you to build this inspiration nation community to get the podcast out there and to help other people for free. And also, don't forget to hit that bell right over here because if you hit that bell, then you're going to know when another videos go live. And don't forget to check out these videos right here next to me because those are other podcast episodes that can really help you out. I really, really appreciate it. And lastly, don't forget out to check the newsletter. The link is in the description below. That's where I can talk directly to you without through the YouTube, throughout the social, because you can have a direct communication channel with me through the email and you can get to know everything that's going on with Inspiration Nation, ask me questions and even give me suggestions on what you'd want us to talk about next. So I'd love to see you in the next video. So please click on those links. Please follow through. Please let's get this community building. I appreciate you. So until next time, I'll see you in the next video, Inspiration Nation, and I'll catch you guys later.